Hey everyone, I wanted to record a quick video about why some of the common reasons we'll change gate parameters with the L300 GO. Uh, I wanted to start with, on the gate screen, some of the more commonly used ones, which is ramp up, ramp down, delay and extend. So let's say in that kind of upper left hand corner with the 0 0.1, let's say a patient, you got the intensity going pretty well but they're still skidding the toes or, touch, or catching the toes every time, you can change that ramp up time to the left down to 0, 0.0. Um, otherwise, there is a delay button to kind of the lower left that starts at a zero. You can change that to about five to 10% into pre-swing phase if you want them to finish that push off to allow for more clearance with swing. So if you put a little delay on there combined with decreasing the ramp up time, that can help to create less of the toe catching episodes. Uh, some of the reason we may actually increase the ramp up time is they're starting to swing and they get kind of that clonus response as they're swinging. So that'll be some of the rare times that we change the ramp up time to actually be increased to 0 0.2 or 0 0.3. To the right of that ramp down time, that is also defaults at 0.1, but we will often increase that if we want to help with the foot slap. So if um, everything looks pretty good, but they're slapping during that eccentric portion, we can increase that up to 0 0.3 or 0 0.4 or whatever looks well for the patient while they are um, demonstrating their gait. Um, in terms of the extend feature, which we talked about the delay, but to the right of that, there's the extend, which defaults to 10% of stance phase. If they have, the, some of the most common reasons we'll extend that is if they have ankle instability, where they're causing, often going into inversion with stance, and we're getting some nice eversion with the stimulation, then we may extend that to give their ankle some more stability. Um, commonly, it's Depends on what looks best for the patient, but we can go up to 35 or possibly even 40% of stance phase if we need to extend with angle instability. Um, that's also the case with recurve bottom. So if they need a little extra control, but they don't quite need the thigh cuff, and we just have this lower cuff, we can extend to 35 or 40 to help with that recurve bottom during stance as well. Um, once we are in the actual parameters or the the test screen tab there. When you click on the cog wheel, there is the max stim time and there's the interphase. Uh, max stim time, I know this sounds obvious, but you'll increase it for slow ambulators or if they're especially slow while trying to uh, conquer stair navigation. So you can increase that max stim time all the way up to 10 seconds if you need. Interphase defaults at 50 but if they are starting to lack some power, especially after using the device for a little bit, you can increase that length of interphase to allow the more motor nerve recovery or more um, of the polarization there, or repolarization to allow to generate more power there. Um, also on that first test screen, we have pulse rate. That defaults at 40, but we can increase it if the patient has more impedance from swelling and we need to create more power. We can decrease it if the patient fatigues easily or if they're a pediatric patient or a patient with the MS diagnosis, then we will often decrease the pulse rate, increase the fatigue there. In terms of phase duration, the, the higher the phase duration, the lower we have to go with intensity to get the same result. So usually the higher phase duration is more comfortable for the patient. But let's say you're setting it up for the patient and you just go one notch or two notches up on the intensity and it has a drastic eversion response. You can decrease that phase duration to say about 200 and that allows some more fine tuning. Uh, just keep in mind, you may have to go higher in intensity. So um, the comfort of the patient has to be considered with this. Um, but again, the, the most common reason we're using this is if we are going with the toe catching, that is one of the most common scenarios we run into. So remember, if you, if you do put a delay on that to encourage more of that push off, if the patient has it, uh, we usually take the ramp up to 0.0 .0 in that case. 
hope this helps y'all. Please let me know if you have any questions.